them. <laughs> okay. No, if I would have thought that through, I would have grabbed a bucket of lava and just poured it on top of you. Yeah, I get to be sitting in the local water there, too. Tempo died to fire. Yeah. But then the house would be burning. No, because his fire spread isn't on. Mm, true. Alright, now I gotta find you. Yeah, now I really gotta find you. I'm not that hard to find. Hi. Did you just take my dirt block? Give me my dirt block back. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Because you teleported onto me and then you took my dark block. Right. So we are... Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what we are. Alright. So, your challenge, should you so accept it, which you will, because this was, you know, you wanted to do this right My now. Idea. Um, you are to make a house with a yard if you want a yard that is in a 10 by 10 square which I've marked out with these blocks and it includes these blocks so this is the 10th block and then this would be like block 1 or whatever and the blocks in any combination whatsoever you may use are oak wood dark oak wood cobblestone an acacia door and green stained glass so, for example, with um, okay, oak wood, got an idea. yeah, for oak wood, you can use oak slabs, oak stairs, etc. Same with stone, yeah, dark I, oak wood. The only thing that you need to use is the acacia door, and you have to use all five elements in your build. But other than that, it's up to you. So, uh, it, it has to be cobblestone. It cannot be turned into stone. Uh, it has to be cobblestone. So either cobblestone, cobblestone walls, cobblestone slabs, or, or cobblestone stairs. Cobblestone stairs. Yes. Yes. Okay, so that was going to be my last question. All right. Idea, and I will got to go gather. Okay. I mean, you don't have to gather, gather. You can grab from storage, too, if you want. Because that'll wrong. make... Oh, wrong way. I'm yeah. going the completely opposite wrong way. Use your house that you are still currently building. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I went. I went to say I go gather in the wrong direction. Yeah. You got a kick out of that though. I did. So. Oak, dark oak, cobble, dark green glass, acacia door. Dark green glass. Which, if you need more, we have lots of cactus green dye up in the workshop. Alright. Which, with the glass, it has to stay the block. It cannot be pain. Otherwise, I would have specified pain. Oh, okay. It's not like I need that much glass. So, I'm gonna put part of this back. That's pretty much on for what I need. Oh shit. I overshot and almost ran into the workshop. Mm. I'm gonna start with. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take it one part at a time. Okay. Ah, I need my cobble. <laughs> I don't need more than a freaking stack. And it can only be. It, uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. I 
I'm actually gonna put this down just a little bit further. Well, yeah, so can uh, you can you remove the blocks because it will be including the blocks, but. Well, I'm moving it down just a little bit farther so I can see. Okay. I have it marked out. and the yard had to be within this block. If, yes. If you want to include a yard, you can. You don't have to include a yard. Okay, so if I want to do something like this... Hmm. Yeah, that includes any, like, fences that you want to include or porch. Stuff like that. I'd have to put it in, like, this. Hmm. We didn't go complete hardcore challenge, so I can. Yep, you can go as high it. or as low as you would like. Yeah, I have. I was gonna say I have some leeway with that. Yep. Hmm. And if you really like this challenge, then I can prepare different challenges for you, too. But I figured, you know, since we're streaming, we can start you off with a smaller challenge. Something as restricted as a 10 by 10 would be easy to complete more quickly. <laughs> ah! <laughs> can you bring my crafting table? Yes, I can. Doing how I just did it gives me an idea. Okay. You know, it's kind of kind of be small and cramped, but an idea. It shall be next to the glass block.
Oh shit. Good thing I didn't give you a time limit. Yeah. <laughs> I would have failed this for sure. Not necessarily. Not in the block, you darn thing. Right there. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> you tried. Gathering more materials. At least you went in the right direction this time. Yeah. Okay, I probably won't need that much. Actually, I'll probably grab that just to be safe. Hmm. <laughs> Does it have to be decorated or furbished too? It does not have to be furbished. Okay. Just a little bit more. Let's 
sorry, I didn't realize that my mic was off. Hello there, Mewing Rocks. Um, because I am playing on PlayStation 4, unfortunately, this music is the only stuff that we got. Um, feel free to open up another tab in your browser and supply your own music. However, you know, it's, it's all I got. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, by the way. And I better grab this so I can have it for later. Wait. One more. How are you today? Uh, Cooney? What's up? Can you come here? Where I'll make sure I'm seeing this right. Where you at, boy? Tree farm. Sup. Um, are you talking about a tree that's just like a stump and then it fallen over? Because they do that sometimes. No, no, no. Okay. This deck here. Yeah, that's all acacia. Bottom, bottom, look in. Yeah. Those aren't acacia doors. No, no, they're not. And why they're in there, I don't know. Which makes me wonder. Yeah. I'm gonna go check if we don't put the acacia in the jungle door. No, I just put it in there. There's nothing in there. But yes, uh, Mewing Rocks, how are you today? I gotta make me a door. <laughs> I've given Kempo a challenge. Um, so he's doing a building challenge right now, so. Um, he gets to build a house within a 10x10 10 10 block plot. And he is only allowed to use oak, any variations of oak, any variations of dark oak, uh, any variations of cobblestone, an acacia door, and uh, dark green glass. Well, that's great to hear. So yes, this is what he's got so far. It seems like um, some good design elements, cobblestone as the base, um, with the oak walls and then cobblestone walls for the yard barrier, which is good. It's a good decision. Now it looks like he's getting the uh, acacia doors, which is fine. Seriously, they don't go together? Oh, they, because, because one's a fence, the other is a wall. So yes, unfortunately. Oh, well, but you know what? You learned something with this build. It's something small, but you still learn something. Okay. One more. Darn it. Yeah, um, I think it's a fun challenge. Um, he has no height or depth limit, so he can go as tall or as deep as he wants. However, he has to stay within the 10 by 10 blocks. And, you know, if he enjoys doing this, then I'm probably going to put more, or, or give him more challenges like this um, with varying difficulties, because he hasn't been building long, and so he's actually been improving his building skills quite well. Um, he first started off with a um, tower over there, then he did a small little house, then he did the castle. Um, he helped me with the baths, if you can see in the left corner of my peripherals on the screen. Then he's got this project over here, which he learned how to do furnaces with. He has a couple of houses on his own server, and then we have this one. Which I feel like the challenges are going to not only help both of us creatively, but like, we're able to also populate the server with more varied builds. Which, you know, is a good thing. Also, Kempo, if we feel, uh... <laughs> like uh, increasing the challenge or whatever, you can always race against me too. 
Yeah, that's when I'll still lose. I know oh. that one for a fact right now. It's not necessarily a fact of a win or lose. It's progress and challenging no, your like... skill set. Okay, so that's gotta go like that. Yep. These have to go here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, once he's finished with this build, I can take you on, like, a server tour. Because I'm right. I'm right. I'm pretty proud of a lot of these builds on here. Yeah, one day we hope to open up this server to subs on both his and my channels, so. At least if not this server, then his server. Well, uh, but that means we still have to finish working on my server a little bit. Oh, that's fine. Hey, at least I'm able to chat while I'm doing this. Yes. I'm like, yeah. oh, I used to be able to build. <laughs> oh, for crying out. Freaking loud. <laughs> Did she run out? Again. Aw. I don't know how to run out of much. I grabbed a full stack of that. Yeah. You only need seven more blocks. Okay. Oh, sorry, I lied. You messed aside. I'm just gonna grab a stack and I'll put back what I don't use. Yeah, you just need 17. So a stack will be good, because who knows what else you'll miss. Well, yeah, who else knows what I'm gonna d end up using for it? Exactly. This is my first time actually doing a roof like this. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did a roof like that on my uh, my server. Um. Yeah, as far as I remember, it was mainly flat roofs, and then the house that you made was stairs, because you were very proud of that roof. All right, have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by, Mewing Rocks. Hopefully, your Windows update doesn't take too long. And thank you so much for the follow. I do appreciate it. Caught the lost blocks. Okay. Thank you. Do you see where I put them? <laughs> the only way they wouldn't despawn. <laughs> Get one side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's okay, you're still learning. Not everyone can be as per perfect as me. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Boy, remember I am this server's god. Why do you think I turned around? <laughs> I feel like that's kind of bland a bit. Ooh. Change it however you'd like. I got it. Oh, unlimited. I got a cool little. That spices up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, that doesn't. That kind of kills it. Let me see it from a little bit away. more greens staying to that. And you thought you'd have enough? I need to go... Alright. Huh? And you thought you had enough. Um, remember, it is eight glass blocks to one die. Actually, I don't need to make it because there's still some in storage. Okay. If I... It would have been sad if I would used all of it already. Mm -hmm. That's like a stack. Yeah. That's in there. And since I'm limited, I have to figure out how I'm going to do the flooring. Mm -hmm. But I kind of have an idea. And I can't do that, but I will do this. Oh, I need my shovel. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. No, thank you. Oh, did you discover the little hole? You know you can turn the dark oak into other stuff, right? No, but it makes it. Okay. It, it, it looks like it goes, doesn't okay. it? Yes, it does. And it's a different flooring than what I've ever really done. Very true. I, it feels like I've always done the bland. I'm trying to change it. Mm hmm Good. It's good that you're challenging yourself. Still kind of hoping that fence would have done what I connect to the wall. Mm hmm That would have made it look even better. <laughs> So I think Fisher passed out. Yeah, because he hasn't said anything to us in a while. Yeah. At least not in my chat. I don't know if he was talking in yours at all. Hmm. Thanks, Kempo. Thanks. 
would you consider? Type of foreign, I've got to do this way for the second part. Put that away. I go first. And then, yes. Now for the finishing touch. If I can find it. One short. Although you remember what I say about not needing the bottom ladder, right? Because you can just jump up. Done. All right. So I'm gonna ask my questions. What do you like most about this build? The different flooring. Okay. What do you like least about this build? I'm trying to set the wall up. Okay. Yeah, it looked like it took you a couple of tries to figure out how you were gonna do the layout itself. Especially when I'm, I'm disappointed. Mm. Okay. What did you learn from this build? That these challenges are actually kind of fun. <laughs> what else? I still suck at building. We already went over what you learned. Yeah. So say it. I'm improving. Fences and walls. Do not go together. There you go. I mean, they can, they just won't connect. So if you had to do this build again, what would you do differently? 
They go like, what? They go like that, yeah, they can go on top of each other. They just don't connect when they go next to each other. <laughs> but I think I, if I had to do just a little differently, I would not have put that there. Okay. But it still kind of does look like it goes the other little bit. Yeah. Because it looks like it's a support, support for the roof window. Yeah. So would you have put a different block there? Or would you have just not had that horizontal placement at all? And if I would have done the horizontal placement, I probably would have placed it further in. Okay. So it would be part of the wall instead of being a protrusion? Yeah, it'd be underneath, it'd be pretty much underneath the glass. Okay. Do you see one area that you need improvement on? There's still a little bit of improvement in every area I've been looking at. Okay. But you want me out of freaking... <laughs> yeah. The biggest area is stuck with the square houses. Okay. Now see, there's nothing wrong with square houses. Um, one thing I would like to note is that the front is very flat. Um, I would suggest maybe adding a few fences for dimension. Um, maybe stairs as trim. Um, I mean, you can even change the entire outlook too if you just take off the corner blocks themselves. But corner blocks. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I need to stop the square I need to mm -hmm. do something different than just square houses. Yeah. Well I mean when you're given a square plot, you work with what you've got. Yeah. Um, but, but I, I could I Go ahead. If I actually think, and if I would have not done a square, if I would have done a circular house, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have this much room. You it would have. Been smaller. Not necessarily. Because you would have had two more blocks on the sides. Oh, that roundness. Okay. Mm hmm. I think my favorite part about the build is that you chose to use dark oak logs for the flooring instead of just slabs or planks or stuff like that. Because that's a texture that you normally don't see. Yeah, and that's why I was just like, when I went, when I was looked in there, I'm like, do something, my mind's like, do something different. Mm hmm. Don't think? Good. And I also like how you did the fences, where, you know, um, it gives the opportunity for flowers to be on the side, but for no one to be able to tread on them. I pers- like, um, I also do like how you kind of centered the house inside the fences like that, and then chose not to connect the fences in the back. I probably would have moved the house back one block just so the fences would connect to the house itself, but that would be just me. I was also, I was also thinking that we could put flower pots back here. That would work. Or uh, do our little like lay the dirt blocks. Yeah. Oh fuck that kind of. Oh boy, that would not work <laughs> too well. I'd probably do like flower pots, like say right. Fuck you, game. <laughs> right here and here. That way it would 
keep the fences from attaching to the block and undo, like okay. say. I really do hate you, game. <laughs> well, and remember here, the thing when you do those dirt blocks, and then you cover them in the trap doors, you need that extra space. So you wouldn't have to do fences there. No, but like, I would, if... Well, you're tri that is right, I could technically put trap doors wrong. But if, like you were saying, I had to decorate it too, that's why I was like, my one course was going to be decorated a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would have trade up and did changed it. Or not really changed it, but got stuff laid here across. Mm -hmm. Got my dirt, because I was thinking dirt blocks across. across. Kind of like how we have in front of our room. That's not a dirt block, you stupid. <laughs> but get and then grab trap doors. So f specifically, if there are there different colored or t we kinds have, of trap doors. We have wooden trap Dark doors, oak. and we no, um, we have wooden trap doors, and we have an iron trap door. Unfortunately, we do not have trap doors in different colors yet. Okay, but if done the wooden across, got the, that planted down, and then put flowers throughout. Mm -hmm. And I would do part of the wall. I wouldn't be able to do it so well here. No, but you could do normal flowers there. Or potted flowers. Oh, I was Just... gonna say either potted flowers or uh, make it look like shrub. Yeah, the uh, leaves. Which, yeah. if you remember from the castle, you can use a cauldron, and then the leaves on top, so it looks like a planter. That was what I was thinking. But, since it didn't have to be decorated right away... Yep. Yeah, you can always decorate it later, but the challenge did not require it. So, so what did you, you think of the challenge? You gotta come more challenges. I, I will. Um, probably not tonight, because it's already 9.30. Um, yeah. But I can definitely... I already have a notebook started with what I uh, just posed you for challenge one. Um, so I can do varying challenge ratings. Um, so for this first challenge, um, out of five stars, what would you rate it in difficulty, if five stars is the hardest? Mm, I'd say a two. Okay. That's what I was kind of thinking, Cause, too. Because if what I consider a one would it, then you wouldn't have given me like certain item requirements. You're just like, you need to build it in this big. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when we were, like this over here. Yeah, where I made the plots, and then you filled it in however you wanted. Well, I had to prompt Sky to, so I can get it filled in. Yeah. This, just having the plot was one star. And okay. some item requirements is a two. Okay. So, from this build that you just did, do you think you can carry any technique that you used or learned in this one into future builds? I have finally been able to figure out how to do the log top, or the log roof, okay. without the weird side thing across the front and back. Mm -hmm. Which, just so I don't drive myself nuts. You can alter it now that we've gone through it, yes.
Cause that looks kind. Of, that looks better. Like that. Yeah. Here's what I was originally thinking. I'm gonna try and put that together. Okay. I just didn't execute the way I was the way I was thinking to start off with. Okay. When you're dead messing with the This is kind of what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Having it inlaid instead of exterior. Yeah. Yeah. It does look better like that. Yes. Again, I think the front and the back of the house are a little bit too flat for my taste. But again, that's a stylistic choice. Personally, I probably would have, you know, where you have this dark oak... Um, I probably would have put a uh, dark oak stairs upside down like a ledge, but you know how much I love my ledges on the outside of houses, so that's just me. Yes. This kind of... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 